instruction in your dressing room. I want to caution you again. Obey my commands at all times. Shake hands and good luck. Final instructions from referee Richard Steele. Evander Holyfield says should he lose tonight or make a... Is to put it all in perspective, when you talk about that close one with Tyson, you have to qualify. It was two years... Don't even try to hit the head. Just come in hard and throw punches at his shoulder and put, throw punches at his chest. Keep him from moving. See what he does with a man who's not known for taking a great shot in the last couple of years. Final second. That's what you... If you're watching this fight to score... It to score Evander's hand up, but he's pulling back from a punch. Change his name to not so quick Tillis because he's getting outspeeded and slugged. Up on his back waiting for that lure to happen. There was one. What a great example of hand speed. A hard right by Holyfield. Another right as the bell sounds. And after the bell, they continue to go. One. They could be in, in line for a stiff fine. In the meantime, to the second round, it is a peaceful round. But the superior hand speed and ring generalship. The United States is waiting to see is how will Holyfield react when he feels a real heavyweight punch. Now southeast of his home in Tulsa. Less than 30 seconds, round three. An attack by Holyfield. Some punches. Tillis covering up well. Another good right by Holyfield. They landed a combination. Heavy right by Holyfield. Whether he thinks the later rounds will be his because Holyfield with an added 12 punch. Punch your way out, he keeps saying, because his right was blocked by Tillis. And at the bell, a hard right by Holyfield. Tahoe. Evander Holyfield continues to dictate the pace. He's wearing the black trunks. Tillis in the way. They look like they do not want to take too much more of this. Tillis just looking to protect it. The pounding uh, he's been taking. Oh, a combination by Holyfield, a blistering assault. Next fight with Ocasio and De Leon was patience, patience, chopping him down bit by bit. Tillis, for his part, doesn't seem like he's got a... Checks in at 210. He was 228 when he went into trolling. Come on, your hands are free. Your hands are free. Tillis looks like he's looking for a place to land. He's looking for a good excuse to go down. A couple of good shots and he'll be gone. It's by Evander Holyfield. Tillis with his hands down. Tillis credit. He's taking those shots. He could go down under any one of those. Let's see if he can survive the fifth round. A had to give. So if his mind is set. Oh, what a punch by Holyfield. And he followed up with a left and a right. And another left. And Tillis is in trouble. Final seconds, round five. Can he make it to the bell? He hangs in there. It's all over. The doctor apparently advised Richard Steele, and Steele signaled all over. Evander Holyfield has won. We'll take a look at the final moments. Well, you can you can see from the accuracy. Look at that uppercut, and look at the head, the way it bobbles. You know he's in trouble. He has he is a dizzy. The punches are now beginning to rain on him. The effect is cumulative. If that round had been another 10 seconds, he would have been knocked out. And uh, the point of having the doctor come up was excellent. Richard Steele was perfect in his judgment. The doctor was good in his. The winner by fifth round technical knockout, stone defeated. So it was all academic as Jim Arata just made the final announcement. And now one.